tragic details revealed about Karen Carpenter by Richard. At the 25th Annual Grammy Awards, Richard and Karen Carpenter joined other past winners for a group portrait. In it, the brother-sister duo, who sold more than 30 million records, smiles alongside Dionne Warwick, Glenn Campbell, Gladys Knight, and other music luminaries. Sadly, a mere 24 days after the photo was taken, Karen would be dead from heart failure caused by years of eating issues. Today, her brother, Richard, 74, keeps a copy of that photo on a table in his living room in Los Angeles. While it's impossible not to mourn the tragic loss of Karen at age 32, a new book, Carpenters, The Musical Legacy, by Mike Sedoni Lennox and Chris May with Richard Carpenter, seeks to put the focus back on the music. Richard allowed the authors access to previously unpublished private photos, tour itineraries, and other memorabilia from the heady days when the Carpenters were on top of the world. Along the way, Richard also hopes to set the record straight on some of the myths and rumors surrounding Karen's illness, his own struggle with addiction, and the pressure and stress that fame put on their lives. The pair hated the album cover art for Close to You but were bullied into accepting it. As their stars rose higher, the pressures increased. Karen's dieting, which she began in earnest in 1967, became a bigger obsession. Yet no matter how thin or weak she looked, she always rose to the occasion. Richard, meanwhile, became addicted to quaaludes, which he'd begun taking to help him sleep. As his tolerance grew, he began skipping meals. At one point, the six-foot-tall musician weighed a skeletal 140 pounds. In 1979, he entered rehab and successfully kicked his addiction. Over the years, Karen sought therapy for her anorexia. Richard believes the medical establishment failed her, and it's something he still gets upset about. A famed psychotherapist treated her in 1982 but did nothing to help her, Richard says. After her weight continued to sink, she was hospitalized at New York's Lenox Hill Hospital, where a feeding tube meant to nourish her accidentally punctured one of Karen's lungs. She was released in time for Thanksgiving but died three months later. While he can never forget the heartbreaking circumstances of his sister's death, Richard would prefer a fan's focus instead on the Carpenter's musical legacy. Surely you still remember her old brother Richard Carpenter today. These brothers have made contributions to the country and world music scene. Thank you Karen Carpenter we will always remember her.